Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is uh, Hugo Doucet. I'm the sales manager for Huawei Enterprise in Belgium. And I am delighted to talk to you today about our uh, anti-ransomware solution. You all know this is a very hot topic. And as a company, we have worked very, very hard to build something uh, truly unique. And I'm delighted to uh, share some more details about this uh, with you. So if you look at uh, data resilience, it is facing more and more challenges today. It is, and so we're getting a lot of data resilience requests. Um, the last decade, we were more focused on disaster recovery to ensure business continuity as a solution for natural disasters. And we also see that backup systems were built to deal with software and hardware failures. And even so when data was deleted by mistake, we could use that. But today, with the increasing popularity of digital currencies like Bitcoin, we see a lot of malicious organizations that are exploiting ransomware to, uh, and cyber attacks for cyber activities as one of the biggest challenges for data resilience. So what we see is that with natural disasters, cyber attacks are not limited to specific regions, and they can occur globally at any time, and they can spread very easily. Cybersecurity Ventures predicts that in 2023, ransomware attacks will target businesses every 11 seconds, while in 2016, that number was 40 seconds. So we see the attack frequency has quadrupled in less than seven years. We can conclude that at this very moment, one organization is under attack by ransomware. And what we see is that the costs associated with ransomware are enormous. And it's not just about the ransom, it's also about the brand reputation, and it's about the cost of the service interruption. The total collateral damage can be as much as 23 times the value of the actual ransom payment. If we look at X-Force research, they say that manufacturing, finance, and insurance in Europe and Asia are the most ransomware attacked industries and regions in 2022. For the manufacturing industry, time is profit and credit, and businesses' downtime may cause more than the loss of the ransom. Higher willingness than pay ransom, so there's a higher willingness to pay ransom amounts to criminals. For the finance and the insurance industry, their data is directly related to money, so it has even more value. And even in this industry, so we know that this industry has a very mature IT infrastructure, still it is a very interesting target for criminals. Ransomware has many disguises and variants, and it can hide in systems for a very, very long time and attackers are very hard to stop. So, how do we defend against ransomware? As Mr. Bob Chan mentioned today, ransomware protection demands a multiple layer comprehensive protection. Network functions should be designed to prevent, block, scan, and eliminate ransomware. However, storage as a final stop of data needs to safeguard beta by making it immutable and recoverable. When you consider storage services in a traditional backup system or a disaster recovery solution, good, is that then good enough to defend against ransomware? As backup systems, it is difficult to restore data when metadata of the backup data is encrypted. So immutable functionalities are a must for a backup system to defend against ransomware. For production storage, it is very critical to have key, capabil key capabilities. We believe there are four critical storage capabilities that are needed 
and that need to be built. In the production zone, customers should deploy production storage and backup storage. And then there is an isolation zone where we should, which is built separately, and that should include detection and data analysis services to complement, and that needs to be complemented with secure snapshots. In the isolation zone, customers should deploy a second copy of their production data. And this shown zone should be completely decoupled from the production zone and should include also a form of secure snapshot. If we look at detection and analysis, which determines whether the storage system is able to quickly intercept and detect ransomware attacks and initiate proactive protection to ensure the retained data copies are clean and not infected by ransomware. The detection and analysis could be deployed on production storage, backup storage, and even the isolated storage. And we recommend it also then to deploy it both on production and backup storage. In addition, we have an alternative deployment mode by means of an external security appliance. And this prevents re-architecture of your production environment. And it also avoids using resources on the physical storage. When we focus on ransomware identification, we believe that accurate identification is crucial for quick detect and will help generate early warnings. Traditional network layers deploy firewalls and intrusion detection. On the host layer, we will deploy antivirus solutions. So what difference could storage do to identify ransomware? Storage is the final destination of your data. It allows near real-time analysis of IO behavior. So what we do is we exploit capacity changes, deduplication trends, file entropy modifications by means of machine learning. And as such, any data corruption activity is quickly detected. The second is the secure snapshot, which adds a protection period on the basis of a traditional snapshot. During the preset protection period, secure snapshots cannot be modified or deleted. And this feature provides LUN level or file system level protection, ransomware protection. And then we add to that or redirect on write uh, file system or point in time recovery technology so we can very quickly roll back data sets from a recent snapshot. Then let's talk about backup storage. Ransomware infiltrates the backup system and deletes backup data before encrypting production storage. And so we're using that concept to demand ransom. And without our data backup available, users have to pay ransom to get their data back. Therefore, detection, analysis, secure snapshot, and warm of backup data is particularly important in defense against ransomware attacks. Secondly, for backup storage, storage efficiency is very important because it allows the backup storage to keep many secure copies of the same data set. Huawei has developed multiple patented deduplication and compression algorithms to improve data reduction, to improve data reduction ratios, and actually that, by doing that, we're actually lowering the TCO. The fourth key is the isolation zone, and where we're going to use air gap replication technologies. The air gap replication policy is activated during the non-replicated period. Links are disconnected by means of an isolated environment to protect data from ransomware. This means during the non-replicated period, network sniffers cannot scan any open ports, making the isolation zone as sound of as sound of any other physical as sound as any other physical media like tapes. Air gap replication ensures data copies are offline most of the time, reducing the possibility of attack. 
Today, we have two ways of actually implementing these isolation zones. The first one is a physical isolation. So a data replication link is disabled by decoupling the physical link. And the other one is by logical isolation, where data replication link is blocked by protocols. Based on our understanding and insights, Huawei ransomware protection storage solution offers first a six layer comprehensive protection with industry's first network storage collaboration for ransomware protection technologies. This six layer techno protection includes network in anti intrusion, network anti proliferation, detection, analysis, secure snapshots, backup recovery, and air gap protection. So that's a lot of technologies. Yeah. And then secondly, we have a very high accurate detection, 90.9%. It's based on machine learning, and we deliver accurate anti-ransomware identification by our Ocean Cyber Data Security Appliance, which is available on display at our booth. Third, we build an isolation zone, which is more effective and secure to keep data invisible to ransomware. Fourth, rapid recovery. And this is attributed to our local secure snapshot, which recovers data in seconds. And we can add to that our Ocean Protect system, which has a bandwidth of up to 172 terabytes per hour. So that's an em enormous speed that we can use to recover data back from the backup system. And when you have a, an attack, I think restore time is key. And that's a very, very high bandwidth that we can deliver on this platform. So my conclusion is our ransomware protection storage solution has successfully protected a wide range of industries. And you're very welcome to have further conversations with this, about this technology with us. I would like to thank you very much for uh, listening to this uh, topic and looking forward to have some offline uh, conversations with you on this. Thank you very much.